This video, I'm going to be breaking down the nickel 3-3 Cub defense, specifically the five and four man pressure variations of this defense that are super effective if your opponent is going to be consistently sending five out. Now, this blitz is going to get picked up if they do block, but there are some really cool disengages. And the cool part about 3-3 Cub has always been its coverage, its ability to stop the run, its versatility, all of that kind of stuff. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be basing out of the play Tampa 2. And I've got a full guide on this on our Patreon that we really actually break down some of the coverage behind it as well as how to kind of adapt it to other formations. So if you want to get that full 3-3 Cub guide, it's on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. $10 will get you access to everything we have over there to help you become a better Madden player. So the link to that is going to be down in the description below. But the coaching adjustments for this is going to be auto flip defensive play call on, auto alignment to default, option defense conservative, and then I like to use my zone coverage on match to utilize matching outside thirds and things like that. Now, if you guys... All, or uh, real quick, we are also in the multiple defensive playbook. All right. So 3-3 three, three Cub, Tampa 2 is the play. And how we're going to set this up, a couple different ways we could do this, but essentially we're going to shift to the running back side. Now, if we're playing bunch strong, we're going to shift to the solo receiver side. So, again, so we're just going to press here. We're going to shift our D-line to the left. A couple different ways you could crash. What I've been doing is crashing outside – or uh, I'm sorry, crashing – to the side that we shifted so like right here we're going to crash our d-line to the left as you can see that blitzes that left side guy that left side guy is considered a defensive end and what we should be able to get here is a nice little edge rush off of that left side this has to do with the speed of those outside linebackers and those defensive ends really effective little blitz now the next thing that we can do with this is we can also go ahead and send a four-man variation of this blitz to try to get a disengage between the defensive end on the left and the outside linebacker that is actually quote-unquote considered a defensive end. The way we're going to do that is we're just going to zone out this linebacker. You can put him in man coverage on the tight end if you want. And what you'll see here is sometimes we get this kind of unique little disengage to that left-hand side. I'll show it to you one more time, and then we'll talk about some different things you can do with the defense. So, again, here's the four-man. Four-man, obviously, is not going to be as consistent as the five-man. But as you see right there, we actually got that disengage. You got that B-gap flying through over there on the left-hand side. Now, how do they pick up this blitz, you might ask? Or if you're playing this blitz, how do you pick it up? Just block your running back. You block your running back, pretty much this blitz is going to be picked up. Now, the cool part is what I have found with 3-3 Cub is you get really good sheds out of that defense. So you do have to kind of you know understand that. Now, another alignment that you're going to want to be prepared to face is going to be a trips tight end type of alignment, which we'll go over here right now. So if they do audible to trips tight end, which this is pretty popular, all you would do is just flip your play and then you would shift your D-line to the right. You would crash your D-line to the right, as you can see. Now here, as you can also see, the linebacker is not blitzing. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this, this uh, or we're going to blitz the linebacker right off that right side. And again, we kind of have that same basic idea, basic strategy. And our simple job here is to try to get in the center. And you see we get that disengage and we're able to get that quick pressure. So this is a super, super effective defense. It gets a lot better whenever you utilize these quick defensive ends uh, like Chase Young, Ted Hendricks, some of those guys that are 97 speed. They make this defense a thousand times better. Now, one thing that you can do, let's say your opponent is consistently blocking a running back. One thing you can experiment with, it doesn't work all the time, but try containing that right or that outside linebacker. And what can sometimes happen is he can actually loop around the run, running back for a kind of a loop blitz variation of this. So the contain method is, is really just trying to, you know, get a loop off of this left side. And then you're going to try to stand basically opposite side of the running back to try to pull the running back inside just a step. Doesn't always work. Sometimes works a little bit better in game than it is in practice mode. But that is a 3-3 cup defense. Now, again, the basic idea here is we're just shifting to the weak side of the formation. So let's go over bunch strong. Uh, real quick. So if we do get a look at Bunch Strong, while the running back is over here to the right-hand side, we want to shift to the left, and then I like to crash to that side. And then from there, you know, we can do a very simple, you know, coverage like this. 
or if we wanted to, you know, maybe play double flat to try to take away the double corners and stuff like that, this is pretty good double corner defense. But in general, as you can see, we're still going to get that really fast rush off that left side. And the four-man blitz is pretty good, especially if they're going to be sitting five out. It's going to force – basically what this does is it's going to force them to block somebody, and then we can kind of craft different coverages around that. This is one of my personal favorite coverages against Bunch. It's just a simple roll coverage, and then we're able to have that, that linebacker in the flat, and oftentimes we can get that distance engage if they do if they do decide to send five out of course if they block a running back you know this blitz it can come in but oftentimes it's not going to come in as you can see right here sometimes it does as you see sometimes you just get these glitchy blitzes and that's why you want to typically blitz probably at least 60 percent of the game 60 to 80 percent of the time i'm sending this blitz at least the four-man pressure just because it is so good now again the four-man pressure you're dropping the side away from the the side that you're sending the heat. So like here, we're going to be dropping that right side and we're sending four off the left. So as you can see, super good. And again, didn't quite get the disengage all the way, but still got that pressure. And then if you ever want to drop out into coverage, what you can do is, is you can kind of bluff it. So instead of crashing to the right, we're just going to crash down or crash inside. And you're going to get these nice disengaged blitz angles here as well. And then the cool part about this is we can then go ahead and bail everybody out into coverage. So it would look something like this. Now, if you're going to do this really quick, I would really recommend blitzing your user so that you get better sheds. And as you can see here, we can get essentially a three-man pass rush with a maximum coverage on the back end. Thanks for watching the video. To learn this entire defense, head over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. Link's going to be down in the description below.